Here is the whole tracking device. Somewhere in the world, probably in Ohio, some alarms going on. Beep, 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 beep. Tracking device deactivated. Tracking device deactivated. Welcome back to Fab Automotive Detailing. In this video, which will have nothing to do with detailing, I just thought this is a video I ought to put out there. Um, not really a public service announcement or something like that, but I want to show you guys what I just found out on my truck. I went to get my truck this morning to go to work, my new, no, new to me, 2013 Ram. 67,000 miles. One of the reasons I wanted to buy a low mileage, hopefully not have any issues, and it wouldn't start. It's like, what the heck, you know? So I went to work, um, rattled my brains while I was at work, trying to figure out what was going on, came home at lunch, uh, tested the starter, had no power to the starter solenoid. So I knew it's something either from the ignition switch to the fuse box or from the relay to the starter. So I had my wife help me, the relay was clicking. So at about that time, we had already eaten. It was time to go back to work. So I knew we were good from the ignition switch to the relay box. So my problem was between my relay and the starter itself. So when I got home, I start looking around the relay box. I look underneath. I kind of just kind of peek my eyes underneath there. Let me just show you what I saw, what I found. So I found this. Let me turn my screen on. Right here. I'm looking at it. I'm like, what the heck? Why is there an external relay? So I take it apart and the terminals are all green and corroded. I was like, cool, no problem. You know, I've got a relay, which ended up being this one. And I put it in here. This is the relay. This one right here is the one that was in the box. I put it in here, still wouldn't start. So I took this relay out of the box, put it on here. And I took this one, which was mine from the house that I have just leftover relays and it starts. So you guys remember the beeping issue that I had um, when I started my truck. I thought it had to do with the backup camera. No, it's a tracking device. Let me show you. So I get underneath the dash and I find this right here, this little guy. And it is hotter than a firecracker. I mean, it is hot um, to the touch. And here's the serial numbers, whatever you guys want to look up. It's called uh, Modbuzz is, is the company's name that makes these, Modbuzz, and it's tracking devices for fleet vehicles. So this little guy right here is what's making all that stupid beeping when you turn the key on. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do this on camera most likely because I just don't have time. They cut into the yellow solenoid wire right here. Yellow wire is always what usually on most manufacturers go to the starter. And then they cut it right up in here. You see that other blue one right here. I need to cut these off. I need to add a piece of wire, put the two yellows back together, completely junk this thing. And then in here, I'm gonna have to take this knee bolster down because these wires right here that they cut into or they spliced into go up to a wiring harness that goes up here into the back of the steering column. Now, I'm not sure why it goes to the back of the steering column, and I say that because the ignition switch is over here. I followed the wires to this. They, they do not go over to the, to the column from what I can see. Um, it actually looks like it goes up in the, right behind this little blank spot. There's like a little gray. You'll see it here in a second right there. That's where the wires go to. So I'm going to take that down. I'm going to remove to my, the best of my ability, which shouldn't be that big of a deal. I'm gonna remove this tracking device system, try to wire it back up factory, and we'll see if it starts the way it should. So if I decide there's something I wanna show you guys, I'll turn the camera back on. Um, I just wanted to kind of show you guys this really quick. And let me get to this and we'll come back. I guess I should have showed you guys that beeping. This is what it's coming from, this little tiny thing, listen to this. what this is I can't wait for that to be gone okay so I'm using my Astro pneumatic 50 SL paint light but that's perfect for light for stuff like this because it's got a little hook on it that's a little plug for Astro because I love that little thing and I'm not sponsored by them I bought this off Amazon two or three years ago it's never let me down um, so here's what they did these are the wires going to the back of the of the uh, steering column as you can see they basically just stripped let me turn the bright light on a little brighter what they did is they stripped the wiring 
the shield around the wiring and they just wrapped the wire around. That is not very professional in my mind, but apparently they don't care. Same with this one right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna unwrap these wires. I'll put electrical tape around these. I think it's not gonna hurt anything to do that. Um, you just don't want the two wires touching each other. Um, and then I'm gonna go out and put the wires together back there, but just kind of wanted to show you guys what all I'm doing right now. And before anybody says, because I know there'd be that one person, um, tracking devices dealerships do put on for people that have bad credit that buy a car. That way, if they're not making payments, you know, they come take their vehicle. They can find it, no problem. This is not that situation, you guys, I promise you. I don't have bad credit, I pay my bills. Um, this has been in here a long time, and I, and I can tell you that just because of how bad that relay wire harness is. It's been in here for a very long time, probably since the truck was new. Because, like I said, it is a one-owner vehicle, and it was titled in Ohio on the Carfax to a fleet company. But whoever had it, I mean, took really good care of it. It's a, it's a really nice truck, but just want to kind of throw that out there, you guys. All right, I'm going to get this done here, and then we'll come back. Okay, so this is temporary because... I don't have any more blue heat shrink connectors. These are not mine right here. These are not heat shrinks. Anyways, this is mine. So, because this is a much bigger wire, this is like a 14 gauge. Um, this white wire that they had on here, right here on the end of this connector right here, is probably about a 16 or maybe even 18. So I wanna put a big wire back on, but for now, just to get this thing running for me, I just cut the red wire, I cut the white wire, I put a heat shrink on here. I've not shrunk it yet because um, I want to make sure it runs first. And I put my relay back in the box, the one that was in there to begin with. So we're going to see if it starts because I've got everything under here. I did not put any electrical tape on this yet. And the reason why is I want to make sure it starts. So uh, and the beeping is going to be gone finally. Let's see. Yeah, buddy. Started right up. Listen to that no beeping at all so that is so sweet i like that a lot now i gotta clean all this crap up go inside and take a shower and go back to work tomorrow but uh we'll finish this video here in a second all right so here it is so i cut it in half because i wanted to leave the wire still going through the firewall to keep water from getting in here is the whole tracking device somewhere in the world Probably in Ohio, some alarms going on. Beep, 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 beep. Tracking device deactivated. Tracking device deactivated. <laughs> Anyways, um, it's all the way back together. It took me, I don't know, 20 minutes. I've been done for a while. Uh, neighbors came over, we were talking. I was showing them it. Fuse box back together. Like I said, I did leave this wire right here. I just cut it right there because it goes in the firewall. I don't want to get water in there. And who knows, I might add something to the truck, a mod. Who knows? And I might have to use that. So I just left it in there. And then I also cut it from underneath the dash. The dashboard's put back together. Everything's nice and happy. She starts right up. She growls at me. It's a beautiful day. I don't have to listen to beeping no more. I am extremely, extremely happy about that. And I'll give you guys a heads up, check this out. This came yesterday. Cold air intake. It's an enclosed system, SMB. Very good uh, system. Seen really good reviews on that on YouTube. It's what most people recommend for these Dodge Rams. And this right here, you guys will have to see another time. This is a spoiler that's going to cover that dent on the back of the truck. I'll show you really quick, just in case you've never been on my video before, because I just got this truck. It's gonna cover that. And it's also gonna keep water from getting in the third brake light, which is very common on these. And it looks really cool on the truck, so can't wait to put it on there. But that's it for this video. Um, I thought you guys might find it interesting. That's why I decided to bring you guys along because I found it very interesting. I thought the beeping was for the backup sensors um, on the truck that are not factory. I'll show you guys that really quick too so you can see what I'm talking about. It doesn't have a factory um, camera. That is aftermarket. And then it's got proximity sensor there and one right there. I thought it was for that. Obviously it wasn't for that. So. That's taken care of. No more beeping, because some of you guys said something about that, which I knew you wouldn't anyways. But uh, all in all, it took about 20 minutes. Thank goodness for my power probe. And I know Papa Smurf 918 knows exactly what I'm talking about. I was able to use this to basically figure out the whole thing. I love it. You can put 12 volts to it. You can put ground to it. Um, you can test things so that it becomes a ground. You can test light bulbs, whatever. I use this 
every day at work, this is my most valuable tool, in my opinion, in my toolbox at work where I'm a mechanic. So I appreciate you guys stopping by. Like I said, I thought you guys would find it interesting. It went really well. Truck starts. I'm very, very happy about that because at work all day today, I was thinking, oh my gosh, what is it? Is it the computer? Um, I've only had it for two weeks. Is it the starter? Because I tested the starter at lunch today. It just didn't have any power getting to solenoid, like I said. Um, so I was racking my brain. Of course, for eight hours, you're racking your brain. Why is my car not starting while well, I'm working on everybody else's car? Um, so I got home and when I got the power probe out, I figured basically everything out that I needed to know. Found the tracking device, found the relay. Everything turned out really good for my 2013 Dodge Ram. Couldn't be happier. Appreciate you guys stopping by. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button. This, this video could be helpful for somebody else. Um, we mainly do detailing videos. Sometimes we'll do videos like this. Not very often, you guys. Um, but when something like this happens and I want you guys to see it, I make a video about it. So once again, thank you for stopping by and we'll see you guys in the next video.